Number 5. Larry Bittaker and Roy Norris They were known as the Toolbox Killers, an American serial killers and rapists who kidnapped raped, tortured and killed five teenage girls in Southern California over a period of five months in 1979. The crime was soon discovered when Norris confided in a colleague, Jimmy Dalton, about the murders and Dalton contacted the authorities. Number 4. Henry Landro He was a French serial killer, nicknamed as the real-life Bluebeard, who murdered at least seven women in the village. Between December 1915 and January 1919, Landro also killed at least three other women plus a young man. The true number of Landro's victims, whose remains were never found, was almost certainly higher. He would take his victims into his home and burn them into his oven to hide evidence. Landro was arrested on April 12, 1919 at an apartment which he shared with his 24-year-old mistress. During his trial, Landro sketched a picture of his kitchen and after it was released in 1967, Writings on the back stated, It is not the wall behind which fates take place, but indeed the stove in which a thing has been burned. He was executed by guillotine in 1922, and his head is currently in display in the Museum of Death in Hollywood, California. Number 3. Catherine Knight She was the first Australian woman to be sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. She was convicted for the murder of her partner, John Price, in October 2001 and is currently in prison in New South Wales. Knight stopped him for 37 times, then skinned him, reheated him, and removed tons of meat from his body. Police found Price's head boiling in a pot, and parts of his buttocks were frying on the stove. Knight was arrested and admitted she was planning to feed Price to Price's children. Number 2. Louis Garabito Garavita confessed to sexual insulting and murdering 140 young boys aged between 8 and 16 years in 54 cities across Colombia over a period of 7 years. He used to kill his victim through slicing the throat or decapitation. When he was captured in 1999, he admitted to 140 murders and had since accurately led investigators to over 140 makeshift graves of his victims. Number 1. Nikolai Dumagolov. He is a Soviet serial killer, a true Hannibal Lecter, also known as the Metal Fan. Convicted of the murders of seven people in the Cossack SSR, what is now called Kazakhstan. He killed and cannibalized at least nine people, targeting mainly women in the Almaty area, and is believed to have killed more until his arrest. He was declared insane and imprisoned in a mental hospital until escaping in 1989 but was recaptured two years later. His first murder was on January 1979. In his official statement, he said, I always loved to hunt and often went hunting, but this was my first time hunting a woman. When I went out on the Zonagachime bullock trap, I saw some young peasant woman. She was alone. I felt my heart pound within me and I ran after her. Hearing my footsteps, she turned around. I caught up with her and put my arm around her neck and dragged her to the side of the landfill. She resisted, but I cut her throat with a knife. Then I drank her blood. At this point, from the village appeared a factory bus. I lay down on the ground and crouched next to the body. While I was lying there, my hands were cold. After the bus drove past, I warmed my hands on the woman's body, then stripped her naked. I cut the corpse's breast into strips, removed the ovaries and separated the pelvis and hips. I then put these pieces into a backpack and carried them home. According to him, the meat of the woman took him a month to eat. The first time he ate human flesh, he had devoured himself, but then he got used to it. He claimed to have killed and eaten between 50 and 100 people and served to his friends and relatives. Who do you think is the most terrifying serial killer? Just comment them down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.